This video is going to demonstrate the integration between Power BI and Zoom data. At a high level, this integration consists of two parts. The first is a new connector for Power BI that enables Power BI users to connect to any of the supported Zoom data data sources, including real-time streaming sources and big data sources. The second part of the integration is a custom visual for Power BI that surfaces all of the Zoom data visualizations so that they can be leveraged on the Power BI report. These visualizations can handle large data sets and as well as streaming updates to the visualization. Let's go ahead and get started by first connecting to some data. You'll notice that my list of connection types now includes a new connection type called Zoom Data. Go ahead and connect to our test server and I'm going to connect as a direct query source. I'll be able to pick from any of the defined data sets on my Zoom data server. Uh, in the case of this server, I've defined about a handful of uh, data sources, and I'll pick uh, a representative set. So I'll pick a 10 billion row data set that's being housed on Impala, and also a real-time streaming data set. Both of these data sets represent sales transaction. One's more of a historical database with about 10 billion rows, and the second one is a live update source that gets new sales transactions every second. Power BI is building its model, exchanging metadata with Zoom data. Uh, again, we're not loading the data in this case because it's a direct query connection, uh, but Power BI is gonna build that list of fields and tables that a Power BI user is familiar with, uh, which you can see on the right-hand side. So I mentioned that the first data set I selected was 10 billion rows. Let's go ahead and kind of make that point by adding a simple card visualization. I'm gonna drag uh, a field from that 10 billion data set. And we'll do the SKU, and on the SKU we'll do a count. Uh, and that'll give us an idea of how many records are in data, data set. And we'll kind of tuck that away on the right hand side. So while that's querying, let's go ahead and start to build a little bit more for our report. Uh, I would like to have a ability to filter my report once it's built out. So I'll go ahead and add a slicer visual and uh, we'll filter by state. So I'll go ahead and drag the state. So you see that uh, there are in fact 10 billion records in that data set. And once I've filled out my filter, let's go ahead and, and just show uh, the ability to cross filter. And for California, there's 1.5 billion transactions. All right, so this is not uh, the, the best looking report, but it's starting to lay the foundation for us to add more visuals to the report. Let's make it a little bit more interesting by adding a map visualization. I'm gonna use the user state column that we used for our filter and lay out a map on the screen. Uh, and then let's also take a look at not only that there are sales in each state, but maybe let's get a feel for how many sales by dragging the price column. Over the size of the bubbles should indicate the amount of sales. Again, I can interact with those charts like I normally do and filter. Uh, so that's, that's well and good. It shows the, uh, the first part of the integration, that ability for Power BI to consume data from Zoom data and, and to leverage that information with the visuals that Power BI already offers. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the second part of this integration, and that's the Zoom Data custom visual that when paired with the Zoom Data data source can su surface some unique capabilities of Zoom Data. Go ahead and add that visual uh, and play it out a little bit better so we can see it. Um, and we're gonna query that 10 billion row data set once again uh, but this time I'm gonna add this Zoom Data column. This column provides a little bit more context to our custom visual uh, so that it knows more about the Zoom Data server and some of its capabilities. And let's go ahead and do the same type of query we just did just so you can compare uh, the experience. I'm gonna go ahead and say user state and uh, price. And you'll see a bar chart appear uh, showing that information. You'll notice that there's a reading percentage 
display and that's because zoom data uses the concept of data sharpening we try to provide an answer right away uh, it gives you an idea of the overall answer and the shape of the answer but we continue to refine it think of this uh, as equivalent to watching a video uh, streaming video where initially the the picture might be a little fuzzy but over time uh, it sharpens itself that's exactly what we're doing for data here and you'll see the bars are uh, changing slightly but the overall answer isn't changing all that much uh, so right away as a report user, I can know if there's an area I want to investigate further. Maybe it was in fact California that I was interested in and then I could filter by California uh, and just have the visual stop querying the original query and go uh, and issue a new query. This becomes even more apparent uh, if I pick a slightly different combination of fields. Let me go ahead and remove this visual and add a new one just so you can see sharpening in progress I'm going to go ahead and pick a combination of fields where it's really apparent because I know the shape of the data I'm going to pick my zoom data column I'm going to say that I want to look at this uh, sales information but then in this time I want to look at it by user income bracket and we'll pick the price column now once again the default will be to show the bar chart uh, but I'll switch the visualization type here in a second uh, so that you can see sharpening in progress. And I'll go ahead and say we'll do a line trend. And what I know about this data set is it's, it's 10 billion rows, uh, but it's really 10 days worth of sales. And each day has about 10 billion records and they're very similar. And so you'll see that as I sharpen, as, as the Zoom data server is progressing, uh, you'll see to see that pattern appear and so as a report author I no longer have to wait again for, for a long query to return I can see that pattern developing and from that point I could decide that in fact I'm going to drill into a particular part or I want to ignore a certain section of the data for example filtering to a particular day so that's the concept of sharpening now when I first started demonstration I mentioned that zoom data supports a wide variety of different types of data sources be they big data but also real-time data so so far, we've looked at very large data sets and, and the ability to interact with them uh, in, a, in a very live way. Uh, let's go ahead and actually add live data. So I'm going to go ahead and add one more Zoom data visualization. Uh, but this time, I'm going to get data from this real-time streaming data source. Uh, once again, just pick a couple of fields. Uh, and just to keep it interesting, I'll change the visual to look at maybe sales by category as opposed to sales by income bracket or sales by state. So once again, you're starting to see the bar chart right away. Uh, now, if you pay attention, you'll notice that the bars at times shift because as I get more sales, it's possible that one category takes over another. But let me switch the visualization type just to, uh, to one where it might be more apparent that that shifting is happening. Uh, down then on the bar chart So you'll see this bubble chart and every once in a while you'll see a couple bob bubbles swapping place and that's because uh, What just happened is that earrings got some new sales and it overtook bracelets And so now on this dashboard. I have a combination of live updating streaming data sources I have sharpening data sources when dealing with very large data sets and I have traditional native Power BI visualizations that all can participate in Power BI's unique capabilities around cross-filtering. Um, and all of that, now as a Power BI user, I can do not only with traditional sources that Power BI supports out of the box, but now with any of the sources that Zoom Data adds uh, to the fold.